In a time where climate change is our biggest environmental challenge, how do young people see our planet 10 years from now? We asked 13 students from Our Lady of the Assumption Catholic Primary School to share their thoughts on global warming, and this is what they came up with. In 10 years' time, I want to live in a world that has not pollution, people picking up rubbish, putting it in the bin. I like to see everyone using buses instead of using so many cars, and less people using planes to go to different countries. Bike, to work, to school, a world that has solar power. I want to see a happy world, to be a nice world, and with no droughts. In 10 years time, I would like to still see all Australia's native animals still on the land, not extinct. I'd like to see a lot more people doing bike riding on the weekend instead of like, like, being in the car and driving to everywhere because that makes you more lazier than you usually are. In 10 years time, I'd like no pollution in the world. I would like to see a world where people care about the environment and I want to see more common sense. Yeah. If it gets too hot, animals die, trees die, we're dead. Because otherwise it's just going to be a sad place in ten, in 10 years' time. If, like, we keep polluting and littering, then all of the garbage goes into the ocean and maybe our beaches will not be as beautiful as they are. Cars from the back of it comes out CO2 and goes into the air. When we have too many cars in the road, there'll be too much CO2 and it'll block the cold from coming in and it'll just be really hot. It makes all the carbon dioxide go like over all the air so then the air gets hotter, which is global warming. When the atmosphere gets too hot, the water will evaporate. We won't have any water to drink and we'll die. If our water evaporates, there's going to be a drought where there's going to be water restrictions. If you go outside in 10 years, you'll just be able to see machines everywhere something that might not be there in 10 years time if we keep doing this is nature for me to create things and no more plants for me to plant my food. It has lots of animals now and it might not have any in the future if people still mm. keep polluting the air. It just still won't be a happy world if people don't start respecting it. Stop um, taking away the things that absorb carbon dioxide. So, so trees, trees, carbon dioxide. We breathe it out, and the trees take it in. Then they breathe out oxygen for us to breathe. Planting more trees, grow trees, plant trees, plant trees, and increase the amount of trees in the world. We could put up posters on the power line poles and and say, come join us and, and pick up and go on a boat and pick up rubbish that are in the sea. Whenever you see rubbish, pick it up and put it in the bin. Not using devices as much as you do. Read more books. Books are more interesting than going online and texting people. Use my imagination to create things. Instead of going to the shops and getting um, your fruit and veggies, you can just grow your own. Stop buying a lot of things. Just buy the things you really need. If you don't want some things, you can just reuse them or give them to another person. Using public transport for less carbon. We can turn off lights if no one's in the room. Ride scooters to school or anywhere. I like going to the park. I like exploring, looking at insects, animals. I love smelling the fresh grass and nice air. My favourite animal is a cheetah. I think the most nicest place in Australia is Ayers Rock because it's nice and quiet and it looks and it's really big. I want to live to 1,000. 